Ahoy gamers and welcome back to Diablo 2 Resurrected as we play for the game as a hardcore sorceress. This episode we catch up to where we got off with the druid, where the druid unfortunately perished. We make our way all the way through Act 1, we take out Andy, take it to Pound Town, then we face against Radamant again. This time we've changed our mercenary to the mercenary in Act 2, so he's a bit of a melee, he tanks all of the mobs while I spam fireballs at Radiman's face. So without further ado, let's jump on in. And here we are, back on Diablo 2 Resurrected as we play through as a hardcore sorceress. This episode, so last episode we got Deckard Kane back. Awesome. Obviously two episodes ago we lost our druid. So got Deckard Kane back. And we're going to go and try and take Andy to Pound Town uh, in this episode. So it's going to be a quick whistle stop tour of everything. I'm not going to show a lot. Uh, if I get in danger, I'll show you what I'm doing. If I don't get in danger, then I'll probably just jump to and from each part of the quest. Um, yeah, because so I've not um, had like a week off from playing uh, a lot of games because of a way of work. So this will be a bit different. Uh, I haven't played anything for a while, so I might be a bit rusty, so this is going to be a bit testy. But hopefully we should be okay. So here we are. We've found the Forgotten Tower, where we're going to make our way down to face the Countess no herself. And here we are. We are now going down into the final floor, so we can fight the Countess. Not been too difficult. Uh, just been standing at a distance firing my fireballs. Haven't got the upgraded fireball just yet. I should get it next level when I get to level 12. So I think this is fire bolt rather than ball. Yeah, it's bolt. And just gonna stand at the back, spam my fireball. I've got some potions just in case something goes wrong. Um, there we go, happy. <laughs> I like that it only takes one fireball to take care of most of these. Other than these dark archers. Right, stand at the back here. It's, there we go. Let's pick up a club. Use the key up. So I'll, probably, I'll, I'll just quickly show me taking out this floor, I guess. There we go. Grab all of this gold. Yum, 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 yum. A couple chests. Did get a, I've been getting a fair few, okay, saying that I've got none on me, but I've been getting a fair few druid items, which is like, I think it's just, just mocking me now, because obviously my druid did not make it. My own, obviously, failings, but hey, here we are. Alright, let's go through here. Oh, there's a big, oh, there's something I can drink from to give me health back, but it's not. Let's give myself ice shield again. This will give me a, another room, which would be nice. That'd be my third room. Okay, I'm just going to stand here and essentially take out as many of these as I can that come through the door. There we go. Should just be her left through the door. If I can see her, that is. There we go. Fire enchanted, so she takes slightly less damage from fire. As you can see, she is going down. My man is going down very quickly as well. But however, that is her taking care of. She dropped a tear room. All right, let's break through. There's a couple of archers in here. And annoyingly, my, uh, whatever I she's called, my mercenary just changes. didn't move and she died. Uh, so let's pick up a potion, boop, drink the potion. Haven't got enough room for that spear, so this shall be me. I'm going to head back to town and then we'll continue to make our way towards the next area, which will be the Rose Monastery. We'll go towards fight the smith for this and then we go fight Andy after that. Here we are, we've just got back to the monastery. Took a bit of time. Uh, I've did a, done a lot of exploring around. I'm now level 13, yep, level 13. So I've got my, where's my skill tree? Du -du -du -du, skill tree. So I've got fireball, two points into fireball, just making my actual uh, damage rocket up. 
Now, I do run out of mana relatively quickly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go search for the smith first so I can get this quest done. And then I will continue through the the um, rogues monastery and uh, make my way towards Andy. These mobs, they, they're starting to hit a little bit harder. But as I got a bit of range with them and I don't have to run towards them, I can just sit, essentially stand back and throw the odd fireball here and there. It does enough damage to normally kill most mobs in one hit. Oh, I managed to really annoy the smith. Walked into the room by accident and there he was, standing there. Um, shouldn't have any issue with this because I've killed all the other mobs in this area with relative ease. And throw drops a trident, awesome. And there is the hammer I need. So that's great. So now the only thing I now need to do in this act is get to Andy. So I'm going to make my way to her. Hopefully it won't take too long. Because uh, then once that's done, I will then start act two and obviously take... Um, probably hopefully survive longer than the druid. So far so good. This character is a pretty good character. I am enjoying the sorceress. Normally I don't enjoy them because they're a bit squishy, but you know what? Fireball for the win. We've made it all the way to the inner colister, so we're doing well. We're making good progress towards the catacombs level 2. Once again we need to get to catacombs level 4 for the final boss. We run around this Catacombs level 2. Um, had a few bit, uh, a couple of scares. Um, maybe with some of these spiders. Walked into a room and there was loads of them, and there were some of them that were champions. That's so that was a bit sketchy. Uh, but if I can attack him from afar, this is relatively easy. Oh, okay, there's one here. I definitely want some room from that guy. There we go. Okay. That's a bit scary. Right, anymore. so now I want to pick you up. You up. You shoot. So I'm going to pop back to town, start putting some points into some strength so I can actually wear some armour. Because at the moment, I have no chest piece. Greetings. Which is a bit sad, really. Uh, should be able to get some relatively soon. And I've got uh, nothing really of use here. I guess I could put you on there to get slightly more strength. I do just want a armor piece as soon as possible. Uh, got some new booties and a new helmet. Once again, just waiting for that ar um, armor slot. The crest at the top here hasn't got any decent armor for me, so hey ho. Let's keep looking. So I'm essentially now looking for the waypoint on chat um, Catacombs Level 2. Once I find that, I'm very close to actually finishing uh, Act 1. Um, I think the waypoint should be down here. Wait, nope. Looks like it's not going to be down. Oh, it is here. Awesome. So that's waypoint complete. All waypoints in Act 1 done. The exit's just in the top right here, so I'm going to run, make my way back up there. So we got attacked by a load of little banished ones, these little weird monk things. And they dropped actually a unique item already. So whatever I'm, I'm level 15. I've got my first unique, which is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully it's actually decent. But if it's not, it's still a unique. I'll take it. I didn't know you can get start getting uniques this early on. So, oh, and an F rune as well. This is going well. Oh, these are the banished. These are the old men that I was talking about. Oh, I may as well identify this. So I've got some boots. I've got hot spurs. Adds fire damage. It's pretty good, actually. Let's put hot spurs on. There we go. Does it increase my... Okay, it doesn't increase my fire damage to my fire balls themselves. But hey, never mind. So here we are, finally, on the fourth floor of the catacombs. We're going to try and take out Andy. Let's put my shield on. Still don't have any armor, from what I know. Nope, still no armor. I've got some studded leather with me, but I can't actually equip it. Let's see if there's anything decent that drops from these mobs. And... Looks like... We should be okay. So at least this first room's all clear. Uh, so, is there any mana on the floor? Doesn't look like there's any mana potions on the floor. Let's open the door. Okay, there's a couple of mobs here in the doorway. Okay, flicks it all dealt with. Mana potions, pick up another mana potion. I have got some. If I, annoyingly, I don't have any identification scrolls, I could probably upgrade my follower's bow now. It's not the end of the world. Right, let's pick up that hell healing potion. 
like so. And he should come at us any second now. Let's take out that shaman. Okay, shaman's down. There's another shaman here, annoyingly. Come on, Andy. Where are you? Oh, there she is. There she is. Let's get some distance. Right, so... Let's use a... There we go. That wasn't too bad, actually. I did lose my follower. And I did actually use most of my potions, but it's not the end of the world. Just like that. We just need more healing potions the and some more reju rejuvenation potions. Fallen. There you go. So that is now over. So we have now caught up near enough to where our druid was. So we're going to now run to Act 2. Well, I say run to Act 2. We're going to get um, teleported to Act 2. We're going to clear the rest of Andy's room to make sure there was nothing that I missed. First and first, this bow... Two to six. Let's give her this. I put that to good use. Let's clear my inventory. I'm going to go clear out the rest of the back end of Andy. Uh, back end of Andy's room, I should say. Don't want to clear the back end of her. That would just be weird. Uh, and then we'll make our way to Act 2. So before I go into Act 2, there were some... This sort of uh, axe and shield are pretty good. There we... If I do make a... A paladin, that'd be quite good for a paladin to start me off. And yeah, so let's head into Act 2. So we're now back in the sewers. So let's just hope that we can survive down here. I changed my mercenary up to one of the mercenaries from this act. So we've got a melee mercenary now. And it doesn't look like I'm doing very much damage here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, so this could be interesting. So I'm having to spam a lot of fireballs just to uh, take out a bit of their health. I'm uh, a bit worried about this. Oh, sand raiders. I'm very close to leveling, however. So I should definitely level by the time I get to Radamant, um, which is obviously going to be the boss. Oh, there's some undead down here. I need and I'm now out of mana. So we'll jump back in when we get closer to Radaman. But I'm quite glad I've got a really strong Merc. Because I can actually sit back and just watch him just clear out rooms. So you see how I haven't got very much mana, so I'm just willing to regenerate. So while it's regenerating, I'm letting my Merc do all the damage. Um, it does take a bit of time, but the Merc's more than capable of doing it all. As you can see, he's one shot in these skeletons, two shot in these raiders. So yeah, nice and easy. Oh, so I didn't realise this. I've just stumbled into Radamant's little lair. It's a little lair. It's uh, quite a large place. So I need to find him. So I can start hitting him with my magic while my... Okay, he's over there. There he is. Okay, my magic doesn't do loads of damage to him. But I can get a lot of fireballs off on him. While um, my Merc essentially tanks all of his minions. Just keeps spamming my, help, my mana pots. And just like that, boom, over. We have um, we have gotten further than our druid. Nice. Book of skill. Oh, yes, please. I can use this, can't I? Yes, I can. That gives me a new skill point, which what I'll put onto Swarm. Oh, Swarm will give me some more um, regen of my mana. Point helmet obviously isn't for my class. Uh, let's move some of this stuff around. There we go. So I'm going to clear the rest of this little sewer out. There's a little bit just over here I've not done. And then we'll see you back in town. So we're now back in town. Let's... Uh, who do I need to talk? Deckard Kane. Ah, he wants the Haradric scroll. scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. Let's As see what he has to say. Haradrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now... To read the Herodric runes it bears. The Herodric Mages. Hmm. The Herodric Interesting. Mages. I can't remember the story of this game. Within Tal Russia, 
magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. Because every time I played this, I just run through the... the thievery and of a rogue sorcerer, normally get rushed through the story. This is the first time I've actually spent time for the story. Shaft and metal so you did remake the staves. Separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Ooh, Herodric crew cube. Of a Herodric I know exactly why I need that. Unite them using a Herodric cube. Nice. So okay. identify my items, old man. Uh, talk to Atma. Atma is inside the tavern. Let's see what she's got for me. They say that the. Uh, I don't think she gave me anything, but it's fine. And I've got nothing of use there. Got a small charm here, it gave me a little bit of extra life. So I'm going to move my inventory around so I've got enough room for it. There we go. I can now just sell everything else. Bing, bing, bing. And drop in this. I did look around to see if there's any new items for me. I need to think decent, but there wasn't anything. So, we now need to go search the Halls of the Dead under the Dry Hills. Which is essentially the next... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Which is the next location, just through the gate to the north-west. Then search the Maggot Lair, and then search the Claw Viper Temple. So they're all through this gate here. Uh, so that will be for the next few episodes. So, that is the Sork. Now made it further than my Druid, so confirmed. Sork is better than a Druid. So, you've made it as far. Thank you much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.